Hello, the Gentleman Gamer here, and today I'm playing EVE Online on the test server, and I logged in to check out, uh, well not check out, but re retry the Serpentas Burner mission that's coming out, uh, I think it'll be tomorrow, um, I think it'll be tomorrow, I think it's Tuesday, yeah. Um, it's coming out on the, uh, uh, the server tomorrow, and uh, I, I've done it before in a, well, I, had, I did it before with a lot of trouble. Um, uh, but uh, an idea was given to me by a commenter. His name, uh, I think on YouTube, is William. Um, I think is how you say it. And he asked if a T3 were able to do it. At the time, I didn't know what this, uh, if it was possible or not, because uh, there was uh, turrets in the, the actual um, in the, the the site mission site, but they weren't named. I don't think they were doing anything when I first did it. So I wasn't sure if they would give a T a T3 destroyer problems. But now with their all this, all this, uh, the missions have been updated. They're ready for release for Tuesday, and um, and now the turrets actually have a purpose in the mission. So I wanted to uh, give it a go. Um, it'll be very interesting to see if this works or not. Uh, so what we'll do first is we'll go into the mission details because we actually have some now. As you can see here, um, uh, it's not just yo-yo. <laughs> it actually gives you a story and a reason why you're doing this. Um, it appears uh, a few Serpentis Corporation test pilots um, have taken some uh, battle cruisers, and they, you know, go they made their base out to smuggling operations, and you're pretty much going out there to stop them. Now down here is pretty much all the the inf info they give you uh, on the people you're gonna run into here. Um, you're looking at um, uh, rail rail gun fitted battle cruisers loaded with spike uh, ammunition, which detect two ammo. Um, Spike has a uh, high optimal range bonus, but a very, uh, very bad tracking bonus, uh, a negative one. So getting in close, um, as soon as you get in close, they, they can't track anymore pretty much. Um, now they also say here that they use dampeners, and they, I remember last time I played, uh, tried to do this mission, they damped, and they damped <laughs> quite significantly. So. Um, it, it really uh, all this all the stuff here pretty much is you now pushing you to get in the, get in close. And what, what else? Now, now they talk about the turrets. The turrets deal EM damage. It will cause problems if they activate, but they remain dormant unless ship enters within 10 km of them. Um, so just pretty much uh, telling you to avoid the turrets, go around them. And they also obviously fit warp disruptors. So if you get close, they uh, disrupt you. Now that's uh, obviously the rewards. Obviously, um, oh, I finished in 28 minutes. I got an extra two mil. Uh, not bad rewards for level fours. So, um, not mentioning each burner is about five mil and a half per burner. Uh, not mentioning any anything they drop. They can drop skins or they can drop uh, faction items. So let's get to the fit. Uh, where? Oh, there you go. Press the button. There you go. Come on, load up. All right. Now I went with a, a T2 small focus pulse laser on top with Imperial Navy frequency on top. Um, I was thinking about going beams to give me more range, but um, I needed the DPS to be able to uh, uh, break their tank because they do rep. Um, and some of the uh, the Alpha house gave me some issues last time, actually breaking their their tank because they was rep over my Alpha. So I put that in there. I didn't put any other ammo because the I need the most amount of DPS I can get. Uh, I put a 10 M and afterburner, and now on this version of the the clients, they've nerfed uh, T3 destroyers, uh, the Zvipel quite a bit, including the Confessor. So I had to fit in quite a bit of uh, like all my rig slots uh, to be um, fitting rigs to get this to fit properly. And I'm 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 I'm, I'm pretty sure you can do it in a, a, a one M and afterburner. I haven't tried it. I'm assuming it would work. Um, but I just did it for speed uh, because on in the uh, in speed mode uh, this this goes up to two. Let's try to switch it. For some reason, when you whatever mode you start off in and in in, on the test server here, um, it doesn't register the speed here. So we're gonna switch to defense mode real quick. And actually, we'll show you all the resists on the bottom. I'm on it right now. Switch it back later. All right, go into speed mode. Pretty cool. <laughs> so I get about 2,700, uh, 2,075, and uh, that gets the mission done faster because you're looking at the, all these NPCs are really far apart from each other, and you want to get there as fast as you can. 
Um, now, I didn't put anything in, in these spots or these spots simply because the um, only thing I can think to put up here was a newt, maybe. Um, and they don't newt you out, and there's no like capacitor issues. So I left it blank to make sure I have enough space on the uh, CPU and the power grid. Same thing here. They don't move, so I didn't put a web, and they don't move away, so I didn't put a disruptor or a scram. Um, so just free up space on the C bottom CPU. And I didn't want to put any fitting mods in the bottom because this is where all my tank and my DPS is going to be on our armor ship. So um, I put in um, uh, Thermic and uh, Kinetic Resists, and we'll put them on real quick. So 7175 in speed mode, which I'm going to... Most of the movement I'll be doing, getting to the target, will be in speed mode. So it's still not bad. I'll be using a lot of my, my, my low signature and my, um, and my speed to actually... Uh, not get hit because you don't want to get hit in a T3 destroyer and uh, obviously heat sinks for DPS and a small armor rep not because I can rep through multiple hits um, if they if I make a mistake and I line up right in front of the Talos um, I'm gonna die it's pretty much for the grazes if you make a minor mistake you'll get grazed some of your armor will get hit and this can rep it back down again so that's the only reason it's there I, d I did find it useful last time I tried this so uh, that is the fit, um, and that's it. We'll, we'll go go into the mission now, and hopefully everything goes well. Alrighty. Now the best thing we have to do here, as soon as we get in, we're gonna have to line up, not line up with, like straight on. Just um, start moving. Uh, away from the actual target here. You don't want to line up directly in like a straight line because you would take, get direct hits and then you won't live very long. He's 166 away and misses? Yes, fantastic. Alright. I think we're pretty much safe here. Uh, the These are the, the uh, turrets. You get about 70,000 bounty for each and there's lots of them but there's really no point. Uh, it take way too long to kill all these to get the money anyway. And they're damping me. All right, let's see here. Take a look at the description. Entering within tank cam will cause them to engage a ship. Okay, no biggie. I think we're going fast enough. Though. Even if we did engage one, I don't think it would be an issue. And actually, that one's close. Which one's this one? That's okay. A hundred. It just attend them an afterburner. It is this. Make your fit uh, harder to put together on the ship, but it just gets yourself so much closer to these um, these NPCs. And what I'm doing right now is just pretty much slowly, slowly getting closer. But I got to be careful, simply because if I if I put my ship into a straight line with this Talos, he'll make some serious damage to the ship. So I got to make sure it's slow. And very careful, like okay. Now about twenty, well, a little, little below, a uh, little below thirty, you'll start scramming me. I mean, disrupting me. Now let's get it into defense mode to make my ship a little slower. All right, so taking some hits on him. Now, as long as I keep this orbit, um, they should not be able to hit me. I know last couple times they actually have grazed me, and that's why I have the or the armor rep around. Now I'm moving out of range a little bit. Oop, I did take a hit. I got a graze, but it didn't go through the armor though. Now, right now I'm a little out of range for the, the lasers, but give give, a, give the ship a few seconds and it'll correct it, and slowly so you don't end up any abrupt uh, changes in speed. And be careful not to double click anywhere because if you start <laughs> drifting off, it will cause some serious issues. All right. Let's pan out for a second. Now these are the other ones are. They are pretty far away from each other, so the big thing to be careful about in this situation right here is make sure you're tight orbiting and and be careful not to get in the line of sight of any of these two. Um, so make sure you if I'm after I'm done with this guy, I'm gonna go straight out over here. And just be careful because if I get straight on to this person, you'll shoot me. So it's, to be, it's pretty much just being very careful. You can do it, you just need to be very careful. You see, I'm not taking too much damage. I am breaking them slowly. Um, if I put another um, heat sink, I would be able to do it. Um, 
but uh, but then that would that would require changing the fit, like taking the ten minute afterburner off. Um, I don't think I could fit it if I wanted to right now. Let me see. No, I'd have to take off this and put in a smaller afterburner, which would take longer. I think you could do it, but I'm pretty sure the um, ten minute afterburner would make it easier. Uh, like make actually more quick, a little the mission go quicker because you're just so much faster. Alrighty. What I'm gonna do now, guys, this might take a, a little minute or so. I'm going to pause the video. I'm gonna finish the mission and to show you the loot. And uh, and the loot does vary, but I'll show you the loot. Uh, so we're right back, guys. Alright guys, I got the mission done, I took out the burners, and how much time was left? With three minutes to spare! <laughs> um, now, uh, here's the loot I got. I got a skin, a 30 day skin, which is very interesting. Take a look at it. It's a cyclone, um, a cyclone uh, fucker tribe one, very cool. And it's a uh, not a permanent one, it's uh, a last 30 days. So a very interesting drop. I have no idea um, how much these will go for. Uh, I'm assuming a good chunk of money, I'm assuming. So that's a pretty cool drop to get. I got this one other time and I did this. So it's pretty cool. Um, I got some faction ammo and a faction explosive plating, which I'm not sure. I don't think these will go for too much, but this might go for quite a bit of money. So the overall possible rewards for, for, for this mission is pretty good, I think. Um, for the amount of money uh, you get to put up, um, you know, with the confessor or something. Confessor is like about 50 mil. Um, so and you're careful. You can definitely make that money back doing a couple of these missions. Now, the only problem I had with this mission was, I think these turrets are pretty much useless. Um, they don't do anything <laughs> at all. Like I pretty much flew through like a whole ton of them, <laughs> getting the loot, and they, they, they just can't hit you. Um, I think what they need to do uh, to make this a little harder for smaller ships. So I'm pretty sure. If, Maybe two assault frigates have enough DPS to take on an NPC burner, uh, burner NPC. So, and these turrets just—they can't touch me. Like they can't hit me. Um, I'm assuming the speed of the of uh, the confessor might be the biggest thing for that. But I haven't tried with the assault frigate just to test out if these turrets cause them issues. Um, I'm thinking no. I think they can outrun them. Um, so I think what CCP needs to do. To make this mission more interesting, as you see, they're missing me, just like completely missing me. Uh, what they have to do um, is to put in some other turrets in here that don't shoot. Maybe putting a webbing tower and like strategically placed, like, um, let's see here. Like, this is where I killed the other burners. See, if a burner's over, over here, you know, put like a webbing tower here. Um, Something, you know, something that would ca make you th like double, no, th think twice before, um, you know, going in that direction. Or at least trying to find a way around it or something. Because these turrets don't do anything at all. And I know I <laughs> it's felt too easy, you know, it, for like the possible drop of like a skin. Uh, I'm thinking it it should be a little harder. Well, not harder, but like a bit more complicated. You should like have to like judge distances between the turrets and the webbing ones. Or even one that would increase your signature. I'm not sure if they have um, target painting ones. I'm not sure if they do or not. Um, they should make one for this mission <laughs> if they don't have one. Um, but other than that, I thought the mission was very cool. I really like the new harder missions. Um, and uh, I hope they keep them coming. Uh, I'm hoping for battleship ones soon. That'd be really cool, <laughs> I think. Um, or like more like puzzly ones. Like ones that are like puzzles. Like where you have to avoid traps and, you know, uh, like make a strategy around them. I think they're very interesting. But that is the video, guys. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. If you like the content, of course, subscribe. And fly safe. And fly brave.